Hey Lane Pride, it's your girl Britt, the owner and operator of Crafts by Britt. And today we are going to be making a candy mug bouquet using Dollar Tree items in 651 vinyl. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to give this to anybody. I know I'm getting over COVID, so I just, you know, it's just a little project that I've been wanting to do with y'all. Sorry if you can't see the top of my head. I've already adjusted the camera for the tutorial, but this is what we're going to be using. We have a Dollar Tree mug. This is not a sublimation mug. We are not doing sublimation. This is a Dollar Tree mug. This is called 651, which is a semi or a permanent. No, it's, it's like a permanent vinyl. It's not as permanent as like, yeah, it's permanent, but I wouldn't recommend you put this into the uh, dishwasher. So make sure you, if you're going to do this for your customers, you use uh, wash instructions and tell them don't soak it. Um, in order to use this and transfer, you're going to need what's called transfer tape. If you're going to do this and you're going to use Cricut transfer tape, make sure you use the easy grip transfer tape. Not the one that's uh, the strongest, but the one in the middle, okay? Um, y'all make sure y'all like the video, comment the video. We're going to do a life update after the tutorial, but for right now, let's get straight to the tutorial. For this, I have some craft sticks. I got these from the Dollar Tree as well. I have some gift tissue paper. As you know, we did do a video where you can sublimate on this, but today we're not going to do that, okay? It's going to be something plain and simple real quick. We have transparent tape from the Dollar Tree, and then I have all of these goodies from the Dollar Tree, and then normally I would suggest, especially when you're dealing with food items because this sheds easily. But since this is not necessarily for anybody, I just got this type. But I would suggest you get the plain foam, okay? And then we have some scissors that we're going to work with. And that's that. So we're going to get into this, okay? Um, make sure y'all like the video, comment the video, okay? Like the video, comment the video. So first things first, make sure that when you are using a coffee mug in 650, 651 at the same time, you always want to clean the mug with some type of alcohol or some type of a cleaning agent that could get the grease or like, you know, germs or anything from your skin off. You want the area to be as clean as possible. A lot of this stuff I did before we got on the live, but... Just for those of you that are at home watching, make sure you clean your products, okay? So I'm going to remove, and my nails are dirty. Oh my God, I didn't realize that. Y'all, I've been trying to clean up, even though I haven't been feeling good. I've still been trying to get stuff done around here while I'm off work. Okay, y'all, make sure y'all like the video, comment the video, and then look, y'all, I got my little Valentine's pajamas on for y'all today. I'm ready. I'm ready. Make sure y'all like the video and comment. Don't be a hater, okay? All right, so we have our transfer tape. We have our 651. We are going to put our transfer tape on top of our 651 so that we can transfer it. And it's going to look like this. So transfer tape is on top. Um, 651 is on the bottom. I'm going to take my the back of my scissors and I'm going to just rub this transfer tape into my 651 so that we can get a good lift the first time. Now, I know a lot of people like to use like a little cup holder. We're not doing that, okay? I'm, 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 we're not doing that. I don't got time for that tonight. Make sure y'all like the video, comment the video, okay? And these are actually good sellers. When I did my grand opening, y'all, this is some old 651, so I got to work with it a little bit. But when I did my grand opening, I sold a lot of these mugs, but I did it with sublimation. But I just wanted to show y'all you can also do it if you don't have a sublimation printer as well. But yeah, this 651 is a little old, so it's trying to stick to the original carrier sheet. But we're going to get it off. We're going to get it off. We don't do anything else, okay? So as y'all see, it's coming off. If you have a newer sheet of vinyl, it shouldn't be this hard. But I had this sitting around, and we're not going to let nothing go to waste, okay? But just know the longer you let vinyl and stuff sit, the harder it is to deal with. So don't let your vinyl go old and don't buy a bunch of vinyl that you don't plan on using right away, okay? Let this be your lesson. Learn from me, girl, guy, friend, craft cousin. Y'all, we're going to start the craft cousin hotline soon, just FYI. 
We are definitely going to start the Crab Cousin hotline soon so y'all can get on here and ask me questions. Make sure y'all liking the video, commenting the video. Don't be no hater. Do not be a hater. And don't forget that if you are looking to get started with your craft business, um, you need help with marketing, you need help with crafting, visit our website, BritWithTheBlanks.com. And there you will find a variety of products made for, uh, not made for, but created for crafters um, just like you, okay? I do miss y'all. We're going to answer questions in a minute, so don't ask no questions now as far as like what I've been up to, my personal life. As y'all see, I did get it off, okay? Don't be asking me all them questions right now. So for me, when I do my candy bouquets, I like for this part to be my center. So all the design everything is going to be going towards the front of the cup this is going to be the back and i'm going to take my design and like i said this is not a a, a mug that i'm going to sell to anybody else so we're just going to do it how i would do it if i was doing it by myself okay so take that lay that on there y'all see drop some hearts if y'all like this design i put together really quick y'all know purple is my color you can take your scissors or the back of something, rub it in. You don't need all those fancy cricket tools, y'all. Don't go wasting all your money on that kind of stuff. Get a little hood over here. Make sure y'all like the video, comment the video, okay? And if you were wondering, I do miss you. I do miss you, cousin. Y'all know I've been working. I've been dealing with kids. I got sick. Look at this. Look at this. You your, your girl did good. I'm a little off. I should have brought it a little bit more this way, but it's okay. We're just going to make this the center of the, the front and center of the cup. Okay. So now we have our cup decorated. Drop some hearts if y'all like that. Drop some sad faces if y'all don't. Would you like some tea? So this is how it's going to look. Hello, you guys. I just came online to give y'all a tutorial on how to make this coffee mug. Anyways. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so now we are going to, I bought this for myself. This is not going in there, y'all. Make sure y'all liking the video. Share it with a friend. I like to get all of my supplies together. So I'm going to start opening things up, dropping it out, whatever I don't use. I do have a candy bowl that I plan on making for Valentine's Day for the house. Even though it's just me here. <sighs> but it's all good. My son be here too, but you know, for the most part, between work and his school and stuff, don't nobody be at this house. Well, he be here, but not, 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 not all day, every day. So anyways, these are the candies that we are going to use. This is a demo cup, so it might not be as full. And normally when I'm doing my cups for sale, I always use the same candy. Um, we are going to get our craft sticks now i don't want all these colors in here but since i did go with purple for the design we're going to go with purple also and we're going to see if i can just open this enough to pull out the sticks that i want you can find all of these supplies at the dollar store okay i guess i have to open them all the way i didn't want to do that but we'll put them in a ziploc bag okay nope we're not tripping we ain't gonna do no tripping today but we're gonna pull out these purple ones And then back, this is little. Oh, we're missing a step. I'm sorry. We're missing a step. Let's get our tissue paper out first. Let's get this prepped. I'm sorry, y'all. Hello, hello, everyone. Make sure y'all like the video, comment the video, tag a friend. So what we're going to do with this tissue paper is I would like to create a little something something using this block this block is going to be good because everything's not going to sink to the bottom and i want to have a spot to where i can kind of stick to put the sticks in okay so i'm just going to wrap this around let me see i haven't done this in a while y'all and then we're going to stick it down into the cup and that way the sticks can be propped up okay and if you want, you can go and cut around and do what you do with this, okay? This is your project. But overall, we're going to have a little something like this. 
And y'all see the block is going to keep everything from sinking to the bottom, okay? So we got that out the way. Let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to open up our transparent tape. I did not want to use double-sided tape. I don't know why. Partially because I couldn't find it. Partially because I didn't want it to be like everything sticking to everything, okay? So we're going to put this. Oh, and y'all look. This transfer tape, put it back on the original carrier sheet and use it again. Just FYI. We put that right there. And then we are going to take our candies and we're going to stick them onto this. Now, I'm not going to hold you. I normally do this like a little different. But for entertainment purposes, we're going to make this a quick version. Like sometimes I use hot glue. Sometimes I use different stuff. Sometimes I do it different. I, I don't know, y'all. Just wing it with me. But this is kind of what we're going for. And like I said, I use the same color stick as the design on the jar. But you can do what you want to do. It's your project. And I'm making sure that I want to put the um, tape and the stick on the back of the wrapper, okay? I, don't, I want to show the front of the candy. It's a candy bouquet. That's the whole point of it. Make sure y'all liking the video, comment in the video, tag a friend that you think might like this as well. And then I'm going to show y'all the back of the stick because I just want y'all to see. I kind of put it down lower because it'll prop up better. Let me see. We're going to start assembling as I go. That way we can save some time on this video too. So as y'all see, they're starting to pop up in the cup like that. You already y'all think I can sell it like this can I get this away like this not with coronavirus on it but you know once I get better from corona I'm gonna eat all this candy I'm not gonna hold you if you know me I'm addicted to sweets I am addicted to sweets and I'm gonna just alternate and do different candies and we're gonna stick them in there as we go for time purposes and you want to make sure that you are kind of doing like a little design of course it's yours but i mean fan it out make sure it looks nice you want it to look nice okay make sure y'all like the video comment the video right now we are making a candy mug bouquet so you can give to your boo or you can sell these to your customers and the way that I would price these, because I, I use too much tape, y'all. I know people are asking, well, how much would you charge for this item? Um, Me, personally, I would always recommend doing this. Your, your time, so how long does it take you to make it? Um, and how much or how long is your time worth? So I would say go with... How much you pay yourself an hour? If you pay yourself $15 an hour, that's one thing, you know. Um, I would say, how much did the material cost? And that's pretty much it. So it's cost the material plus your time. So if you feel like $10 an hour is worth your time, then baby charge $10 an hour. If you feel like $30 an hour is worth your time, charge $30 an hour. It's up to you. And as you see, I'm not putting all of the same candies in the same spot. I'm kind of trying to mix it up a little bit. And I might come and trim this down so it's not covering up my design when people look at it. But yeah, so cost of material plus your hourly wage. Why do I keep cutting off these big old pieces of tape? Help me, Lord. I'm wasting my materials. Stuff cost me a dollar twenty-five. And these are good for Valentine's Day. You can put, and we talked about this in our little segment that we did where we were talking about, oh, what all can you sell for uh, Valentine's Day? Look, y'all, that's cute already. Drop some hearts if y'all like it. Drop some sad faces if y'all don't. But anyways, it's kind of hard for me to get it centered on because I'm showing y'all. So I'm like, I'm not actually looking at it. <clears throat> but yeah, you can uh, put Black History Month designs on these and sell these as Black History Month gifts or teachers gifts. Um, a variety of different things you can do with these, okay? And like I said, all of this stuff came from the dollar store except for the 651. 
651 came from a wholesale supply store and you can either join our drop shipping wholesale course to get that information or you can just google your local like you can say okay wholesale t-shirt supply shop near me and you can find some stuff like that you can find some 651 for sure or you can order it on amazon or cricket but i ain't gonna hold you they like they stuff sucks a little bit and you can stack them up so they can go higher or lower y'all let me know if y'all liking this tutorial let me know if y'all want to see more like it but i think the cost of this let's see we have what we have this was a dollar 25 this was a dollar 25 and if you want to price stuff like this like say for instance you could say okay well these came with 100 in a pack so what's a dollar 25 divided by 100 that's how you're going to get the cost of material for stuff like this with this you could say well this comes with 35 in a pack it costs a dollar 25 a pack what's a dollar 25 divided by 35 that's how you're going to get the pricing for this okay um and then the tape was a dollar 25 now you're gonna have to do some good calculations on this okay but we're gonna throw some other stuff in here um so we can kind of mix it up a little bit i have some candy suckers i don't know how they're they're gonna look in here but look y'all it's cute already like i said let me know if y'all like it Yeah, make one for sure, for sure, for sure. So I, I have these. These came from the Dollar Twenty Five store as well. We are gonna open these up. Try not to open up the candy like I'm trying, like I'm trying not to do. Okay. So now I'm not gonna eat these. These are a little nasty. I don't know, but they decorations, and I thought they would be cute. So we could throw, Fine. make sure y'all like the video, comment the video. Um, also, don't forget if you are a crafter looking to grow your craft business, BritWithTheBlanks.com is our website. If you like these type of tutorials, we also have a YouTube channel, BritWithTheBlanks.com. If you want to see some more of our past tutorials and be a part of an amazing group, we do have a Facebook group available and the link is attached to my page. Let me turn this around so I can see. Hold on, y'all. I need to see this part. I ain't a little stanky, stanky stick. Don't want to come apart. <clears throat> and I'm going to push some of these down in the front just so it looks better. Like I said, y'all, it's hard to see when I'm all the way, when I'm working from the back and then y'all actually see in the front of my design. Like, it's hard to do it like that. So I needed to turn it around. But we're going to throw some of these little hearts in there. Hide the sticks. I never like the sticks showing, but just in case they do start to show, that's why I use the same color as the mug, so it kind of goes with the flow. But yeah, I sold a lot of these one year. I used to do gift baskets. I don't know if y'all know, but I used to do gift baskets. So that's how I know how to do this kind of stuff. This was like a candy basket for me. Hold on, we're going to move this around. Try to move it around as much as possible. And like I said, y'all can do this with... Um, be careful when y'all adjusting the sticks in the cup because you do not want it to... Uh, you don't want it to uh, start breaking the actual base of your... Uh, whatchamacallit down, Okay. So you can tape this under, you can fold this under, you can do whatever you want to do with your little ruffle. 
But for me, in this mug, what y'all think? No, I don't like this like this. Hold on, let me untuck it a little bit. Okay, now what y'all think? Is it cute or is it cute? Is it giving what it's supposed to give? Let me know. Is it giving what it's supposed to give? <clears throat> I'm waiting on y'all. Give me my applause now. I'm ready. And we still have all of this candy left over, just the FYI. We still have all of this left over. So if you are looking to do this project, less than three packs of candy. They were $1.25 each. If you want to price it, you can say, okay, well, Snickers came with six in a pack. So what's $1.25 divided by six? Hershey's came with five in a pack. What's $1.25 divided by five? And then that's going to give you exact pricing for all of this stuff. But I do like this. I wish I wasn't sick. I would definitely give it to somebody, but I think it'll be cute on my desk. Girl power. We might leave this on the desk and I'll eat the candy as I go. Yeah, I thought about the balloon, but I just didn't want it to be too big. And this is the back of it, y'all. But when you're doing your product photos, take this picture. Don't take the picture of the bag. They don't need to see that part. And then you can also get like some little bags and put this in and put a bow on top. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say I ain't never taught y'all nothing. Let me see. <clears throat> Take y'all off of here. Bring y'all closer. Do y'all have any questions about what we did today? Let me know. Do we have any questions? Shell Maker says it's cute. Add a teddy and a balloon, and it's a wrap. Yeah, I didn't. The balloon, I felt like it was going to be too big. Um, Lauren says that is so quick and easy. Great idea. Thank you. I made some money. Y'all can sell them for $25 a pop easily. Sandy says cute, especially if you're doing sublimation because you can promote that it's uh, permanent. Shell says hello, Brit. Great mug. Hello, hello, everyone. I missed y'all. So, <clears throat> what now with this life update? Where y'all want to start it? Because y'all know your girl been going down through there. Where y'all want to start? Y'all want to start with the coronavirus? Y'all want to start with this little stanky booty job I'm working? Where y'all want to start? I don't know. If y'all don't want to talk about it, we ain't got to talk about it tonight. But this is the life update portion. And then after this, we are going to go into our um, our um, motivational session, session that we always do in our videos. Hey, Yolanda. Hey, Mildred. I hope that everybody is doing okay. Shantae says the job. <sighs> y'all. I hate this job. I'm working here because I have an incentive um, from my father. Um, I'm not going to disclose that on the internet, but I hate it. Like, it's basically, um, okay, so my dad, he gave me an incentive. He said, okay, well, I want you to get out the house. I want you to start moving around more because y'all know the past couple of years has been rough already. But then with all of this stuff going on with my daughter, I have been boggled down and stuck in a house, dealing with depression, dealing with everything. And then, um, so I ended up calling his bluff. I was like, okay, so I get this if I do that. And he was like, yeah. So I ended up applying for what was close to me, which was like a fast food restaurant. I've never worked in fast food, but I mean, I did Sonic when I was 15. So um, I applied. I told, I did a little over the phone interview. They asked me if I wanted to train for management. Da, 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 da. I was like, okay, cool. So now I'm here at the job. And of course, you can't be a manager anywhere if you don't know how to work stuff. So I have to learn how to work these different stations, taking orders. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. My feet be on fire. I did get me some sketchers. And then, hold on. Yes, it is a stinky booty job. I hate it. I hate it. I hate Um, Yolanda says she can't hear me. I don't know. Can y'all hear me? But yeah, so 
working at this little thing with a job, dealing with these people. Um, it's a lot of ghetto people, and I don't have nothing against ghetto girls. I just don't like them. I, I don't like classless women. I don't know. It's, if you're not trying to work on it, it just don't work with me. And I'm not saying that I am uh, full of class or like that I don't get ratchet sometimes, but I turn my ratchet on and off. Some people don't know how to turn their ratchet off. And I don't want to mace nobody at that job. I, I wouldn't do that anyway. But it's like these people is crazy. I've never like my eyes jumping right now. Like, Lord, help me. But overall, I am starting to like working. Um, what the method that my dad used is working for me. Um, it has gotten me out the house. It has gotten me used to being around people again. Um and yeah, and then also, here's the thing, y'all, like, okay, so when you get to a certain level, like for me, when I first started doing ads and stuff a couple of years ago, I started off with a $300 budget, right? So what happens is, is that you run these ads, the ads bring you back money. You take that money and then you reinvest it back into the business, but you have to work the crowd in order to get the money from the ads. It's not just ads don't live on the island, right? So I was able to go from $300 to a $1,000 ad bill. But with all of this stuff going on, y'all know I broke up with my ex. I ended up getting pneumonia. Uh, I mean, COVID. No, pneumonia. I had pneumonia. So I broke up with my ex in September. COVID. Uh, no, pneumonia. Pneumonia. I got COVID now. Pneumonia happened in October. Um, the end of October, my cousin came for two weeks, and in November, my daughter ran off. So thus far, I haven't made no money because I ain't worked my crowd. So you have to have a thousand dollars just to get these ads back on. That's off the rip. That's just one of my bills. So this job is going to help me get back to where I need to be. So I'm gonna take a thousand dollars pay my ads off, and then I'm going to start from the bottom. I'm going to lower my budget back down to 300 and work my way back up. That's how I'm putting myself back on. See, y'all, I'm giving y'all some free game. I'm letting y'all know. Stack y'all money up. You always got to have money in reserves because life be life and, and anything can happen, okay? And these bills, they don't stop. Just like with my email bill. When I had 300 emails, it was free to send emails. Now I have almost 8,000 emails. It is no longer free. It costs me almost $300 a month just to send out emails, okay? So this stuff costs money, and it's all a cycle. You put the money in, you get the money back. You got to put the money in, you got to get the money back. But if you don't get the money back, you don't have the money to put in, okay? So that's basically what I have been dealing with. So it's helping me get past that. <sighs> Yeah, so that's what I'm dealing with. Yeah, yeah. Y'all watch y'all watching me get it out the mud again. But it's okay because this is a business that I started with two hundred and fifty dollars. Y'all didn't know that I bought a cricket machine. Started the business with two hundred and fifty dollars and I've made well over a hundred K with the business. Like I can sit here and thankfully say that. Two hundred and fifty dollar investment. Plus my time <laughs> has put me at over a hundred K revenue for this situation. Um, so I mean, life be life in and it's up to you to keep going or to give up. So what y'all want to yap about next? What y'all want to hear about next? Y'all want to know how I got COVID? I think I got COVID from work. Um, one of the girls on my first day of training, her butt came to work. She was like, oh, my. And this is no shot towards her. Don't think I'm talking smack about my coworkers because I'm not. But anyways, she was like, oh, my daughter has COVID. And I was not thinking. I was not thinking. And so everything she was touching, I was touching afterwards. Next thing you know, I get a sniffle here, a cough there. And I've always had allergy issues, especially if you've been following me for a while. Y'all know I done, I be having some issues, headaches and stuff. So I just chunked everything up to, oh, it's allergies. So I was taking allergy medicine and all types of stuff. And I would feel better. But what made me end up going to the hospital was while I was on a trip, I noticed like not often, but every blue moon, my face would start hurting. Like it would swell up. 
And, I, and then it would go back down after I took the Tylenol, whatever medicine I was taking. So when I got home, I think the pressure from the flight made it worse. So that next morning I woke up, y'all, my face was like, ugh, and it was beaming, like it was throbbing. So I went and um, went to urgent care. That cost me 180 freaking dollars. And then turned around and they told me I had COVID and I have a uh, bacterial sinus infection. So, yeah, I ain't been reading none of the comments, y'all. Um, mm-hmm. Tanika said, put me on game. I stay putting y'all on game. Y'all don't listen to me, though. I don't know why y'all don't. T- Tanika, I don't know why these people don't listen to me. Like, I keep telling y'all, y'all, some of y'all make more money at y'all job than what I do. If you just stop buying coffee, if you just stop smoking that marijuana stuff if you just cut back on going out and having drinks and stuff you can afford to put three hundred dollars into something you'll be surprised if you spend ten dollars on fast food a day that's three hundred dollars a month that's how much you can put towards your advertisement okay um instead of watching tv get on youtube and youtube how to run facebook ads um Felicia says, what about saving for a rainy day? Yeah, you always, always save for a rainy day. Like, that's the thing. If you can't manage your money, you can't grow your business. And honestly, financial um, financial education is not something that I was taught as a kid. So this is something that I've had to learn as, I go, as I've grown. Um, Shatera says, so, uh, so happy you are feeling better. I'm feeling all right. Like I'm still snotting and stuff. I never really felt sick. It's just all of this congestion and coughing and all of that stuff. Ugh, it's just, ugh. But, uh, yeah, if you can't, if you can't stack your own money, if you can't manage your own money, you're not going to do good at business. It takes money to make money. You might make a little bit of money, but you can make a lot of money if you, if you save your money and reinvest it. Um, Lakeisha says, good evening, boo. I'm just tuning in. Welcome, Lakeisha. Marbetta says, hey, Britt. Hey, Miss Marbetta. I missed y'all. Lauren said, I feel you. Um, I... Okay, somebody else says, um, I don't Oh, I can't read it. I don't know, y'all. We'll come back. I'll go back and respond. Um, Yolanda, uh, Sabrina says, you've been trying to help people. Yeah, I have for years. I've been trying to help y'all. And I keep telling y'all, like, these craft projects are cool. This is cool. But you can get rich off of just this. Okay? If you pr- get this product, you promote it, you go all in for it. Just like with that TikTok shop stuff. Y'all is going crazy over that TikTok shop. But guess what? Now TikTok shop not only has been collecting your customers' information that you could have been collecting on your website, but now they are charging you per sale, which is what they were going to do in the first place. They hype you up for the kill, baby. I keep trying to tell y'all certain things. Y'all don't listen. Anyways. If you promote your business, invest in your business, be consistent in your business, it will grow. The only way that my business starts to sink is when I am not consistent. See, the biggest thing and the biggest reason why I told y'all all all of this stuff that has been going on is because it's been keeping me from being consistent. It's not that the business isn't successful. It's not that the business has gone downhill. It's that me as the operator, as the face of the business, I have not been available. And that's a problem. You have to be available for your business this is my baby and i ain't been taking care of my kids don't call cps on me um charbel says uh you do be helping us thank you my pleasure miss shari uh cesar vega says glad you glad you better hopefully you did not share your covid with me. oh oh so y'all i met cesar at the conference um he was actually playing with the band and I met him outside when we were both hanging out. And so um, he's good people. Welcome to the live, Cesar. Yolanda Ken says, I hope uh, son is okay and don't catch the cooties. Um, I actually stashed him at his dad's house. So, no, he's fine. Braylon is good. Braylon been going skating. Braylon been doing him, y'all. Braylon been doing him. He said, Mama, can I have some motion? I'm like, what is motion? Basically, he wanted me to send him a cash app. I'm I'm his I'm his sugar mama <laughs> and I'm fine with that. Uh Kayla says, Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Kayla. Yolanda uh Kent says, Well put Queen. Thank you, Miss Yolanda. Okay, so um 
Tanika's laughing. And then y'all, just the FYI. Um, let me see what else y'all want to what, what else y'all want to talk about? Y'all know I've been posting about a lot of stuff. What else y'all want to yap about? What y'all want to discuss? Let me know. Y'all already know what I want to sing. Uh, yeah, he said he needs some motion. Some motion. Motion is money for kids, y'all. But young preteens, motion. So I done sent him about thirty dollars on Cash App this week. Eating my pockets up, eating my little coins up, but that's okay. I ain't gonna lie, I spent some of his child support money last week, so I owe him, I owe him some of his money back. So I'm just paying him back his money. <laughs> he don't know that, but I'm paying him back his money. Um, so yeah, what 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 y'all want to talk about? What y'all want to know about? Uh, little mama. Um, so the reason why I was upset the other day is because, so y'all, why my baby daddy go to court and didn't tell me he was going to the court so that I could give him a briefing. This fool done went to court while I was out of town and didn't even know what to tell the people like y'all. I know he was trying to help, but no answer sometimes is a bad answer. Okay. It makes it look bad on both of us. So I was a little upset about that. But um, I am going to show my face in court on the 24th and I am going to discuss some things that's been going on with my daughter, take all of my proof up there, and I'm going to request that they go ahead and put her into a girl's home simply because I want her to be the best version of herself possible. And um, I don't trust her to come home and stay at home. I don't know what this sudden change has been. Me and my daughter... Um, despite what y'all might think, we've always been close. Um, she's here with me 99.9% .9 of the time. Most of my time and effort goes into my child. Um, we don't have like a locked in relationship, but that's my little road dog. So I don't know what she got going on. Um, she's 16. I don't know what she got going on. I don't know who's gotten into her head, but all I know is I have to do what's best for her. And so until she shows me until I can feel it in my heart that she's going to be all right. I would rather tuck her away safely with people that can watch her 24 seven because um, she's getting ready to be grown. And I have to start focusing on what is Brittany going to do with life after kids. Some of y'all don't know, but I've been a parent since I was 15. I've been a parent since I was 15. So it's like, I need to figure out what I want to do with my life for myself like which direction am I gonna go I have so many options you know that I've been thinking about um I want to go back and get my bachelor's degree I already have my associates but I can go to a smaller housing authority and be an executive director most of them make over 100k a year um my brother his girlfriend is working with me I might try to get on with homeland security that's between 62 and 100 K a year. So I'm looking at stuff like this, like, okay, what is your retirement plan? The business is cool, but the more money that I have to invest into the business, the better the business is going to be. And so I need to be focusing on this stuff instead of chasing down a person that don't want to be chased, the person that don't want to be kept. So, um, and Elsie Cherry says, as a mother, always do what's best for your family. Tanika says, pray for her constantly. Felicia says, how old is she? Okay, I answered that. Hey, Kinnett. Um, Kayla says, love it. Thank you, Miss Kayla. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm dealing with. And that's just where I'm at. Um, I've been hearing about a number of different projects to where she can come home on the weekend. Like, I love my baby. Like, I love having a family. Like, even though I don't got no man here, we still a family. Like it's always been me and my two, like always, always. I've, when I left the house at 19, I took my kids with me. I didn't leave them with my mama. So, uh, Tanika says Homeland security is an excellent job. Yeah. My brother's girlfriend has been there for years. So she says she'll vouch for me. And she was like that. A lot of people there don't have a degree. So since I have a degree, then I should be able to qualify for something. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, right now where I'm at, this is kind of like temporary to, so that I can get my incentives from my daddy. <laughs> and, um, so <laughs> 
Yeah. So, but I am looking for something different. Um, I've never been opposed to like having a business and working a job at the same time. My thing is I've had to take care of, I had to take care of a, um, behaviorally challenged child. <laughs> Oh, it hurt. It still hurt to smile a little bit, y'all. But I've been taking care of a behaviorally challenged child. And so that's been my biggest hang up, right? Like for the last few years is um, making sure that, you know, she's not burning the house down, making sure that she's not going too far out of control. And as you see, even with me being here all the time, she still found a way. She just started doing it while she was at school. So, um, yeah. That's that part. That's that part. That's what I've been dealing with. That is what I've been dealing with. And then, I don't know, let's see. The guy on the picture, that was a friend also that I met from the, um, from the, um, conference trip. So y'all, that is not my boyfriend, just the FYI. That's not my man. Um, he ain't knocking the Mario coins out or nothing like that. That's just my friend, friend. Um, but he is a cool guy. Um, I did start talking to somebody briefly for like a couple of weeks, but he was a little too controlling. So I wasn't with that. I'm not right now. At a, I'm at a point in my life to where I just want to BS and have fun. Like if I'm going to date somebody, I don't want you to control me. I don't want to control you. I just want us to have fun. Like don't, don't put too much pressure on it. I was locked down for like three years with a narcissist. I'm not going back. <laughs> I will never go back. So any sign of controlling, I don't want it. So, but I mean, it was cool. It was fun. It was fun. I was driving like an hour to go see that man, y'all. I did it like maybe three times, but it was fun. But that's done now. Dunzo. Um, Lathandra Lily says, oh, think, oh, oh, ugh. I think I, I think she means I, so I'm going to say I. I think I'm going to have to use that comment to describe my youngest. He's just behaviorally challenged. Yeah, these kids not bad all the time. They just got some behavioral challenges. Yeah, they just behave. They're just a little, a little challenged. Don't call them bad. Don't call them, um, you know, untrained. Don't call them you know, a little negative stuff. They're just behaviorally challenged. They have a, a challenge with their behavior. Uh, hey, Miss Celestine, I see you on the live. I don't know if she just popped on or popped off. But yeah, so that's, that's all I've been going through. That's my update, y'all. I spent New Year's Eve at work. I worked New Year's Day, so I didn't get to celebrate that. Um, yeah. My Christmas sucked because my daughter wasn't here. And honestly, I felt bad because it dampened the mood for my son. I didn't put a tree up. He opened up his gifts by himself. Life been life. And so, but anyways, let's go into the positivity session. Um, My positive, oh, for those of you that are new, positivity session is basically to where you say something positive about yourself about me or about anybody on the live video okay the goal of this is to just spread positivity to everyone because you never know what somebody might be going through just like me i've been going down through there y'all i'll be crying i'll be sad but i get through it i'm a thug um but anyway so yeah that's that's the whole point so my positive words for you all would be to keep going um fight through and now I'm ready for y'all's positive word. Let me know. Like I said, you can say something positive about yourself. You can say something positive about me. You can say something positive about another crafter that you might know on the live. Um, so I'm going to give y'all two minutes to go ahead and do that. And then we'll end the live there. And I don't know if I'm going to be off work tomorrow or what I might have going on. I would prefer not to go back to work because I'm still snotting and sniffling and stuff. But I, I don't know what they're going to do with me. I don't know. A piece of me wants them to fire me. Lord, forgive me. I don't I don't need to be fired, though, but I do. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go anyway. But yeah, I'm waiting on y'all. Or we can just sit here and look at each other for two minutes. I did miss y'all. So let, let the positivity flow. Say something nice. 
Um, Didi Joe says, I admire your resilience. Thank you, Didi Joe. Kayla says, don't give up. God uses our grief and pain for a purpose. Amen. Miss Don Evans says, we got this. Thank you. Who else wants to go with the positive train? Positivity session over here. I'm waiting on y'all. I'm waiting on you lovely people because I know y'all are full of positivity, especially if you follow me. I'm, I'm good vibes. So you got you to gotta have good vibes to to clean with me. Uh, Janice says, keep going through the storm. The sun is on the other side. Thank you, Janice. Tony says, you're a very inspirational individual. I think that was for me. Thank you, Tony. And I think you're awesome as well. Tony has been one of my longtime students. So, and she's also a part of my mentorship program. Thank you, Miss Tony. Uh, Shari Bell says, continue to be as strong as you can. And when you are not okay, uh, that is okay to acknowledge it and then get up and know that God would do it for you. Amen. Mildred said, Miss Brittany, you're definitely an inspiration for the Lion Prize members. Thank you, Miss Mildred. Y'all my folks. Y'all my folks. I'm actually, I'm, I'm thinking about getting me another tattoo. I'm thinking about getting a Lion Pride tattooed on my back. I don't know. I'll let y'all know if I do. Um, Mika Jordan says, you are such a strong woman. Thank you, Miss Mika. And I admire you as well and your travels and your weight loss. See, that's one thing about me. I'm going to stalk my people. <laughs> I'm going to stalk y'all. I'll be looking at y'all stuff. Kimberly Woods says, stay uplifted. Thank you, Miss Kimberly. Let's keep the positivity session going. You could put a Bible scripture or something. Don't put a long Bible scripture. Like, put a little Bible scripture, though. You put whatever you want to put in the comment section, as long as it's positive, y'all. So we still got a little bit more time. Let's keep this thing rolling. It don't have to be about me. You can say something about yourself. You can say something about another craft. Or you can say something about everybody on the live. As long as it's positive, y'all. And let me see if I can do this real quick. Let me see. Okay. All right, there we go. We tagged everybody in the video. Um, Kimberly says, stay uplifted. Tanika says, Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declare the Lord. Oh, declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Stay encouraged. Thank you, Tanika. Tanika coming through with the Bible verse. Uh, I said, Lord, I cuss a lot. So, I, so don't take my page seriously. <laughs> it's okay. Look. I be wanting to cuss sometimes, but always remember to remain professional, y'all. Always. Uh, and you never want to be a problematic person. You always want to be somebody positive and somebody uplifting to follow, okay? Monica says, glad you're back, girly. Thank you, Miss Monica. And I appreciate this was a good welcome back. I hope everybody liked the video. Uh, Lathandra says, you're strong. I don't think I can do fast food, baby. Baby, when it was about when that lady... Threw that change on the ground. Woo. I just walked off. I ain't even say nothing to her, y'all. Because I'm like, you don't even know who you're talking to. You don't know who you're dealing with. See, that's the thing about being at this job. They don't know who I am. They don't know me. They don't know that I'm God's child. All I, I'm just a regular person to them. So it is so hard. Like, so hard. They don't They don't know I'm blessed and highly favored. They don't know I'm Brit with, with the blanks. They don't know I'm Brit with the blanks. I'm just Brittany up there. Dang. <laughs> uh, let's see. I lost my place. Okay. Char Bell says to everyone on here, no matter the challenges that come with life, keep on pushing forward because there is nothing behind you that can get you to where you need to be more. Always trust God and his plans um, for you. Sorry. I had to hit the see more button. Hey, Lizzie. Hey, Kayla. Oh, Kayla said, LOL. Aisha said, girl, that's exactly why I quit fast food because of the folks had me. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. Hey, Crafty Diva. Crafty Diva says, hi, everyone. Gina Macon says, I pray much success for all of our businesses. Thank you, Miss Gina. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all, they don't be knowing. I'm like, oh, Jesus, Lord. It just be a whole mess. But I'm thankful because, like, for me, like, you know, things could, like, I could not have gotten that incentive. Um, and I, it's like, you know, that incentive is a good incentive. And so 
that helped me out. And then it's like, I could have been looking. Some people can't find a job. Some people would take them away. I literally found a job in five minutes. Five minutes, I got a job. And then I also got offered to train for management. So I'm I'm blessed. I'm thankful. But, but I guess they say to whom much is uh, given, much is required. <clears throat> to whom much is given, much is required. But anyways, if you are catching this video um, right now, Go back and watch the beginning. We did do a candy mug bouquet at the beginning of the video. Um, if you are catching a replay of this video, put hashtag replay in the comment section. If you are a crafter looking to grow your craft business, whether that's marketing, um, whether that is having a website, whether that is doing craft projects, then um, or even digital products, okay? Um, visit our website, BritWithTheBlanks.com. Here's a fun fact for you all. I have not had time to update the website, so everything is still on sale for Black Friday. Y'all, thank Corey for that, because she got my head gone, for real. But um, So thank her, and if y'all want to go shop, BritWithTheBlanks.com is the site. But anyways, I love y'all dearly. Um, I'm going to go, and I'm going to rest and do some relaxation. I got my candles lit. Um, I still have two more days of antibiotics to take for my face well it's my sinus cavity that got infected so i have to take two more days of antibiotics i'm trying to get over this cough and stuff because i do need to go back to work if i'm gonna reach my goal then i have to work um but yeah so that's that and if i get some more uh shari bell says i need some blanks to start with y'all we still have um i'm not even gonna pull it out right now i'll come on live and talk about it tomorrow but we still have mystery mystery bags for sublimation blanks i did go through my inventory i found like 20 more bags so we have 20 bags so if you want to or if you're just getting started with sublimation um here it is right here we have these bags that are full of sublimation blanks it's called a mystery bag on the website but it's full of different blanks and stuff that you can use, um, especially for newbies. And if you want to, oh, Lord, I got to sneeze. It's for newbies or, you know, intermediate, intermediate people. I'm tired, y'all. But it's basically for all everybody, for crafters. If you're crafting and you got sublimation, get the bag. It has a variety of different products in it that you can use and display for your uh for your customers to see and choose like okay here's a keychain that i made or here's a t-shirt that i made do y'all like this and if they like it then you know to go buy more of those blanks and stuff okay but the bags the mystery bags are 19.99 each and um and that does not include shipping i'm sorry i'm getting tired y'all i love y'all i'll see y'all tomorrow we'll talk about mystery bags tomorrow maybe peace out